This past month, my Poshmark sales sucked. But as I'm course correcting, I've learned I have a good amount of items that once I've listed them, they've sold in less than 24 hours, some of them less than 48, and a lot of them in less than a week of listing. Because of my slow sales, I've really had to pivot my business and really get clear on what is selling right now on the Poshmark app. So in this video, I want to share with you some of the items that I've sold very quickly on Poshmark, talk about what is selling right now, and show you how to figure out what brands you should be looking for that are going to sell right now and more importantly once you've found those brands in the thrift store how to double check comps on an item to know if it will actually sell relatively quickly on Poshmark. So obviously as of filming this is September 2023 and we have definitely seen a major shift in the items that are selling on Poshmark right now. I live in Florida so a majority of the items that I sell are swim related. I think right now I have about 1100 listings and over 400 of them roughly are swim. So this past month for me has been a big wake up call in terms of my sales and I think where I really went wrong was that I focused too much on hitting my next sales goal and not enough on what was coming next. But I do think that this makes me a good example for this video because I have barely sold any swimsuits in the month of September, which totally makes sense. But you hear a lot of people saying, just list things anyway, because it doesn't matter the season, things sell all year round. And while I do think that's true, this past month has definitely been a very rough sales month for me. My name is Sophia and I used to struggle to sell $1,000 a month on Poshmark. And a few months ago, I decided to go full-time after selling for years on Poshmark and just not taking it seriously. And I've put in effort every single month trying to grow my sales farther and farther. And they've grown a pretty good amount now. And I said that if I kept hitting my goals, I would start a YouTube channel helping other people do the same thing. So that's what this channel is about. So subscribe if you want to, but I'm not forcing you to. With that being said, let's get into sharing some of the items that have sold very quickly, a lot of them in less than 24 hours, some of them 48 hours, and I threw in a couple that sold in less than a week because I figured you'd want to know about those ones too. So we are starting with the sold items. This item sold relatively quickly. I think it was under a week, but I wanted to throw it in here because depending on the piece that you're able to find, as you can see up here, some of them are listed very high. This was one of the lower selling items and it's by the brand Lug. So I think what did help it sell was this print. It did have a few flaws and the inside needed to be cleaned out a little bit as you can see in this photo, but someone bought it for $42 anyway and it was a pre-owned condition. But depending on the piece you can get, you could see 58 listed at um, $70 listed. There are a few lower end ones, so you definitely want to check the style of yours and check comps. We'll talk about that later in this video, but I wanted to make you aware of this brand. The brand is Lug. The next item that sold relatively quickly, I think this one was again under a week as well, was this Loren Ralph Loren little hooded pullover piece. I'm wondering if I have a photo. Yeah, here's the tag of it. Um, there wasn't really special about this Loren Ralph Loren piece. It did have these like uh, fake leather detailing on it and it was a size XL, but that sold relatively quickly. That again, you could tell is another fall piece. This next one sold very quickly. I think it was less than 48 hours and the brand is Bowdoin. It's just this little jersey dress. I have picked up a few pieces in Bowdoin now. I've never sold it before. This was actually my first Bowdoin piece that I've ever sold. It seems like this could be the newer tag potentially. Bowdoin definitely seems to be a brand that if you have the stock photo, it will sell a lot quicker. I, I mean, I've only had like four pieces of it ever. So I've sold two out of the four and the two that sold, I found I was able to find stock photos for. This next item I actually got in one of the videos back from the Goodwill bins and this sold extremely quickly. This was the first item to sell out of my Goodwill bins haul and this was by the brand Leoma Love Grove, which I had actually never heard of, but while I was at the bins, I looked it up, checked comps on it and I was like, at that point I was desperate to find things, but this ended up selling very quick and and the person that purchased it ended up leaving a note saying that she needed another one. So if I could find one, that would be amazing. But I have not found another one yet. But this definitely seems like, depending on the piece, it has a following and people want numerous items from them. This next one is the brand we all know and love. This one I actually had an issue with where I sold it as a men's jogger on accident. The buyer returned it 
and then I ended up selling it for $13 more as a women's jogger. So that was kind of a good thing for me though. Um, but this one sold basically immediately, immediately when I listed it as the men's and immediately when I listed it as the women's. And this was just a pair of Vuari joggers. Let me see if I can find the tag for us here. So when I saw it in the thrift store, I saw it based on this little tag right here but it also has this, it kind of like Lululemon vibes of the tag where it's like that strip tag. Uh, I've sold a couple pieces from them and so far it's one of my favorite brands to pick up. So definitely if you see it, you're gonna wanna pick it up because it'll sell super quick. This next thing that sold, I wanted to keep it for myself basically. Uh, and it was this fairy little kind of like happy multicolor pullover really cute fairy sells wonderful for me as long as it is like a cute style and it doesn't have any flaws especially the women's i have like one piece that's a men's piece but it does have a couple spots but that thing is not moved um but fairy depending on the piece definitely will sell super quick this one i'm pretty sure sold at least within 48 hours of me listing it this next piece is kind of an odd one that i don't think a lot of people or resellers at least talk about but is it is a halara dress and this one sold super quick from when i listed it i can't remember how quick it sold but this one was brand new with tags though so keep that in mind but i have seen sold comps for other ones obviously we're going to go over how to check sold comps later in this video but halara was definitely and keep in mind this one only sold for 24 so you have to pick it up at a reasonable price to be able to sell it and actually make money on it but i was happy with this because it sold basically immediately now this next piece is by the brand buff bunny which if you've never heard of it it's just like an athletic brand like gymshark kind of thing or alpha elite and this piece this person was actually begging me to be able to purchase this pretty much because i had accidentally sent i originally listed it at 35 dollars, and i accidentally sent an offer for 18 with discounted shipping which i'm pretty sure i only paid six or something like that so i still made money on it um so i did end up selling it to them for that price so i'm just bringing that up because because this sold in a couple hours after listing it. This sold relatively quickly and I was surprised because it did end up selling for $32. And this is just a pair of aloe little biker shorts. I do have a couple other aloe pieces listed which have not sold yet but it seems like aloe is a really fast moving brand which is kind of funny because i had an aloe tank top like years ago and that thing took forever to sell but i guess aloe is like kind of more popular now i'm not too sure but it's moving quickly for me now this one sold very quickly actually in less than a week and it i actually didn't think this one would sell because it was missing the material tag so i couldn't tell if it was silk or not um but this was an eileen fisher skirt and it was just in a size large i think the size was good and that's why it may be sold i was honestly even questioning this item to pick it up so i was glad that it actually sold and it sold very fast for 35 dollars, which i thought was an amazing sale this next item is a pair of birdies which i've talked about in a few of my videos now let me show you the tag on it someone had made an offer i'm pretty sure i listed it higher but they were like a very small they were a size five and a half so to me that was like a very small size so i ended up taking their offer I got my money back and made a little bit of money on those and I was pretty surprised because we are moving out of summer but they still sold so that is one of those things where all year round people are purchasing things regardless of the season this next item this one specifically so don't run out and just purchase this brand when I found these at Goodwill I did look up comps on them and it seemed like these ribbed flare leggings from this brand sold way better than any of their other pants at least that I saw or leggings that I saw so this was actually a promoted listing sale and I am coming out with a video all about promoted listings of like how much I've spent on it how many sales I had if it was worth it what the Poshmark fees end up looking like all of that stuff um, so if you're not subscribed and you're interested and you don't want to miss that video hit that subscribe button uh, basically subscribe is just like bookmarking a channel so that you don't lose the channel in the ginormous sea of YouTube this next top right before I took photos of it I was sitting there like oh man I probably should not have purchased this top this thing is gonna sit here forever and this thing sold in less than 12 hours I listed it for 25 and I got an offer for 18 here's the tag and it's just cabby and this one was a size large so I don't know if the size played a factor in this as well this next pair uh, I've shown in a haul before as well and I just found this photo on the internet that shows like the cute patch and I think that sold them 
because these sold very quickly for $28 and these were a size two. They were teeny tiny and they sold very quickly. And I was actually surprised because when I listed these, I saw a lot of comps for like below $10. I saw a lot for like 15. So to be able to get $28 for these, I was very happy and they sold in probably less than a week. This next one is like the mother load item here, okay? This is by the brand Frank and Eileen. This sold less than 24 hours after listing it. I listed it for $200. This person made an offer for $150. Obviously, I don't get that much because Poshmark fees and all of that, but the brand is Frank and Eileen, so you definitely want to remember that tag because that will make you a little bit of money right there. So this next item was another pair of birdies, and this was their black velvet like slip on flats but they did have this little flaw if you could see right here but those ended up I think I had them listed for 75 and I got an offer for 50 those I'm pretty sure sold in less than 48 hours maybe less than 24 hours for $50 so I did end up taking an offer so those were some of my sales that ended up selling between 24, 48, and one week from listing. You can tell a majority of those are fall items besides a few of them sprinkled in whether they were athletic wear, which I would still, I mean, you need that all year round. So that's a little bit different, but I only had that sleeveless top and then the uh, birdies like tropical sandals, but those they got for a lower price. So I'm assuming that the price was the reason that they moved fast. But beyond that, every piece that I've sold recently has been in a fall related piece which for me as someone who is majority summer items listed in their closet that has been a problem with my sales so what I have been doing recently is trying to go to Goodwill more go thrifting more and pick up more pieces that are fall related to try and course correct to this situation and I have really been going back to the basics of how to figure out what brands are going to sell fast and once I found an item in a thrift store how to check how fast that item is going to sell so I would like to spend the rest of this video going over that because I think those are two important things that are the basis of anyone's reselling business all right so real quick we're gonna jump back into the computer and I'm gonna go through how I've been finding what brands will really sell for me so for this example I'm going to use shoes because we know that I should not be in the shoe section but I love being in the shoe section so in this case I would go over to women and then I would go down to shop all women's shoes on Poshmark mark then oh look at these 249 as we're focusing here <laughs> we're focused okay so once we're on shoes this will just show you all shoes because obviously you don't know what you're gonna find at the thrift store now what I would recommend is being specific with your category so if you want to specialize in boots right now you can filter down by ankle boots and booties or combat and moto boots whatever it is that you want to sell for this example I just like shoes so I'm just gonna leave it as a general shoes then i'm going to move over because poshmark is a little bit sneaky and obviously they're trying to sell us stuff so they save our sizes and so what we want to do is make sure that all sizes is checked that way we're not just looking at only our size shoes but we're really getting a better picture of everything and then we want to specify the price that we want to be selling our items at so my goodwill typically i mean sometimes they go crazy but my goodwill typically prices shoes between like ten dollars to fifteen sometimes they go all the way up to twenty so for that purpose in order for me to like really make money on them I would like ideally to be in the 50 to 100 dollar price range so I'm just going to select that price range now then I'm gonna go down and I don't just want to see available because to me that means nothing I'm trying to see what has sold what is going to make me money so I'm gonna click on sold items now Poshmark is sneaky so go back and make sure that they didn't just filter by your size again and if, after you've confirmed that it's all sizes then we're gonna go up here if you really want to do some thorough research you can filter by just in instead of just shared and that's going to show you what was most recently listed and most recently sold meaning it sold super duper quick so let's look at some of these brands. So the first one is Nike. Now that is one that I really don't like touching because Nike, like some people are just all into that and they know what's gonna sell, what's not. I have no idea and I should do the research of that, but it's just not my thing. So I am not into Nikes, but if you are into Nikes, this would be a good thing. You could figure out which certain Nikes you're supposed to be looking for at the thrift store. I just skip over it because for some reason I just, I won't list them. I don't know what it is. Then we have this brand, I've never heard of this. So Joshua Sam. Sanders 
Uh, evidently, they're like a cool sneaker. Never heard of it, but they listed it originally at 325. So if that is a brand that I'm thinking of that I might be interested in, I would click on the brand and research it a little bit more. Uh, then we have the Zara, which these ones were new with tag. Same with the last ones we just looked at, but those sold for $75. That's insane. I've never heard of Tiva personally. I mean, I've heard of it, but I never knew how much they'd sell for. So those were new with tag, sold for $55. Another pair of new, and keep in mind, these were listed and sold Sold super quick okay uh, these Zara open back loafers $74 I personally did not know Zara shoes could sell for that much so I just learned something oh here I saw a pair of these in a similar style they were yellow a couple videos ago they weren't new with tag though but these sold for $67 new with tags like Sam Edelman okay all right this brand down here I've never heard of I don't know how to pronounce it I've never heard of it but um, those sold for $76 new with tag so what I would do is just go through here teaks and again the great thing about Poshmark is that if I click into this there's actually you can see the logo right here and you could see what the bottom of the shoe looks like so when you're out at the thrift store now I know okay if I see a shoe that has like this aqua bottom and this logo I know that I need to research it because that's probably a good item to pick up so that is how I've been kind of coming up with what brands I might want to look out for while I'm at the thrift store and that's something that if I have nothing else to do I have no listing to get up then I can sit here and research this before I go out to the thrift store so it gives you kind of something to empower yourself with before you just walk into a huge massive overload of things at the thrift store researching a little bit before you go you're walking in there prepared and ready to find some amazing items now once we have found an amazing item how do we know if it's going to sell and how do we know what it's going to sell for and how do we know how long it's going to take before it sells Let's get into that. Let's use, for example, black birdie loafers, like the ones that I previously sold. So pretend we're at the thrift store, we found a pair of the loafers from birdies, and we're going to see if they'll sell how much, but we only want to use Poshmark for this. Now, there are two different ways beyond this that I have found to be able to check like if things are going to sell and all that, and we will go into those a little bit later, but for now, let's just pretend we only have access to Poshmark. So first things first, to get more specific, since we do have the pair of birdies in our hand, pretend, okay? We're gonna wanna filter by women and shoes. That way we're very specific and it opens up the option to filter by size. So let's pretend that we have a size nine and now we see the available ones for size nine. Now we could see there are a good amount of them listed, which is something to consider because if the market is just absolutely flooded with them, you're going to probably have to either sit there and wait for them to sell or you're going to have to offer a lower price to get them to sell faster. So those are definitely things that we wanna consider. So I see there's one listed here for new with tags, $85. Another one listed 89, but it has 13 likes. I'm guessing that one has been sitting there for a minute because it has so many likes and they have it priced, in my opinion, too high. You could sit around and wait for your item to sell however long you want. There is no rule on that. I personally want it out as fast as possible. So let's look over here. I know I scrolled past some. Here's one for 50. It does have four likes, okay. 79 again, 70, 68. So it seems consistently that it is priced between 50 to $100. Now, that is just available. So that tells me nothing. That just shows me the competition that I have going on in order to try and get this pair of shoes sold, okay. There seem to be a good amount of them, but because I found my pair at the time when I purchased them, my Goodwill was only charging $10. So for me, if I did have to come in low at $50, it was still worth it to pick up at $10 for me. However, let's make sure they're actually gonna sell because what if we buy them and we're stuck with them for years? I've had so many items like that and I'm over it <laughs> at this point. So what we wanna do is filter by sold under availability and this will give us better comps to see what they're gonna sell for. So right here we see that the velvety loafers, those sold for 52 and those are sold. These other ones don't really match my ones we have. This one sold for 47, okay, 45, uh, 48, 36, and then one even sold for 25, but those look a little roughed up on the inside and mine were basically perfect condition. So at this point we understand that even though other people had them listed up all the way up to $100 for a used pair of birdies, Realistically, they're only going to sell for between $25 to $50. So in my case, where I sold the pair for $50, bucks, i am pretty sure I got lucky with that sale because it sold so
so quickly. So it seems like if I wanted my birdies to sell, unless they were like a weird exception to this, they would sell for between $25 to $50. So going into it, even though I saw some listed for $100, I needed to have an understanding that they probably would not sell for $100. And you kind of need to look at that to know like, okay, I'm going to pay $10 for this. I can sell them. It looks like for between $25 to $50. Even if I sell them at $25, I would make $20 and I would make roughly $9 after tax and Poshmark fees. So for me, that would have been fine. Other people, you want to make a certain amount of money, so you need to keep that in mind. So that was this kind of quickly explained. If you need another reference point, I recently did a blog post for Posh Pop. I do a lot of like the admin and marketing stuff, um, but I'm not trying to sell you that. I'm just literally giving you the blog post as a direction, I guess, because I did include photos in there and all that that maybe break it down a little bit further if you want like another reference point beyond this video. And it gives an additional example example of how to do this for a different product. I also go into a couple other ways of checking comps in the blog post that again I'll link down below for you if you're interested in checking that out. I also really would just like to say thank you to all of you who have left really nice comments on my videos recently. That means more to me than you know and it's such a cool thing that so many of you are interested in the same things that I am and all of you that have subscribed I really appreciate it. I have a lot of videos planned that I hope will help you grow your own reselling business and I just appreciate all of you so very much. I just really quickly also want to say that it is normal not to have everything figured out in this reselling thing. It a lot of times takes a lot of time and money to figure out what is going to sell and that's why a lot of people tell you to start with things out of your own closet to kind of get started understanding what people are interested in, how to sell, all of the things. So it's normal, this is a learning game and every single sale you are getting more information and better at what you are doing. So keep going. You have not failed unless you give up. So thank you. And if you have not checked out my last video already, you might be interested in that because I found a $4,000 dress for $12. It's on the screen now.